make sure that we enjoy today but we're planning for tomorrow and so it's just so important that you live for today like tomorrow is not promised i'm not saying just go out and take all these elaborate trips that maybe you can't afford at the moment but i'm telling you to take the trip on whatever scale that means in your life if that's take your trip to tj maxx today and walk down the aisles take the trip and go to walmart take the trip and take your kids um to the playground i'm telling you to take the trip to enjoy the moment to live for today what up everybody it's your boy jk man today is thursday and you already know what it is it's tackle thursday with jk live on ig and i'm recording for the YouTube channel, Jeremy Kellum. Y'all go and subscribe after this episode. Today, I'm joined once again by my wife. This time, we shoulder to show these them. I can show us some love. <laughs> hey, but yeah, hey, we, we here today, man. Hey, it's a late night special. Other episode, I mean, well, other, other podcast, man. Today, we tackling the topic, take the trip. And this wasn't my idea. This wasn't uh, my topic either. Uh, I was not going, she didn't know, but I wasn't going to have Tackle Thursday this week uh, because I knew that we were going to Orlando and was traveling. But she was like, you know, this is why you gotta have a great teammate, a great spouse that's, that's right. that, that be dreaming yeah. as well and got a vision and that's behind you, pushing you. She said, hey, Jeremy, hey, let's uh let's for taco thursday let's 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 do another one together in orlando and we're gonna call it take the trip and i was like mmm i like let's do it so with that being said that today we tackling the topic take the trip right and so with that being said i'm gonna allow Brittany to tell you what it means to her when we say when she came up with that topic take the trip what does that mean Brittany? What did it mean or what does it mean? So for me, um, it's very personal, which I know later in the show, um, Jeremy will get into why um, this trip was so personal to us. But it just means live your life, live your life. Um, you know, right now we are, you know, really invested in starting our, you know, building up our savings even more. And, you know, we're constantly telling ourselves to like, you know, make sure that we enjoy today, but we're planning for tomorrow. And so it's just so important that you live for today. Like tomorrow is not promised. I'm not saying just go out and take all these elaborate trips that maybe you can't afford at the moment but i'm telling you to take the trip on whatever scale that means in your life if that's take your trip to tj maxx today and walk down the aisles take the trip and go to walmart take the trip and take your kids um to the playground i'm telling you to take the trip to enjoy the moment to live for today um you know living in the pandemic the last two years I really have, um, you know, where I'm like, nah, I, I'm not going to go there. Or, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Um, and just thinking that I could keep my kids in a bubble. And, you know, when we share even why this trip is so much to us, it's like, man, it was just a reminder. Just take that trip. No, nah, definitely, definitely. I think, uh, you know, if you follow Brittany, which I need to go do that, right, Brittany K moments, um, you you will see like some of the things that she she shares and she posts uh, really about her going through postpartum experience and that during the pandemic and and just kind of like really how how we really have been moving throughout this whole pandemic it 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 has been very very um, cautious very very cautious right and you know I remember I had went out one time. And I was like, man, Brittany, I think we kind of at the point where I'm looking around, I'm not seeing a lot of masks, and everybody know how they choice on if they want to wear masks, if they don't want to wear masks. But the point I was making, I was like, man, it's kind of like at, we now at the point um, in, in this world or in America where if you choose to not go somewhere because you know you're trying to, to practice the safest precaution, 
you might be missing out on life um, because at this point in time, it ain't like, okay, well, if they're not going to wear masks over there, I ain't going to go, well, you know, you go anywhere now. Even in the schools, there's no masks. So when you start thinking like that, it's like, man, I just got to live my life. Not recklessly, but live my life. And so if you seen our post yesterday, man, you seen us, we had some shirts. Shout out to wife. We made some dope, dope shirts, man. Shout out to my cricket. Hey. I'm telling y'all, man. Team Cricket over here. I'm not sure if you got a cameo silhouette, but Team Cricket hey, all day, every day. Y'all need to go. So hey, y'all need to go follow follow Brittany, Brittany K. Lux designs, right? Y'all need to follow that to uh, too. Um, she she crafted and she be doing some amazing things. So Brittany did our shirts, right? And so if you seen our shirts, it said it said uh, let's do this again, again. right? So the key yeah. word was, I seen somebody at the um, part today, he had let's do this while y'all was going yeah. to get, he had let's do this, right? But I said, let's do this again. So when we were saying let's do this again, yeah. we're saying that we already had did this trip, mm. right? And so what, what, so tell the people what happened when we came mm. in December to um, do this trip, what actually happened? So, we need to get a charge or two. Uh, it'll hold. If it, if my life cut off, I'll just go on Brandy's. Okay. She's petty. Right. Um, so, no. Um, so, in December of this year, we planned that this was going to be our first Christmas ever um, in Disney. And so, I had heard so many things. Um, I had heard so many things about um, a Disney Christmas. So I was just like, you know, at this point, I was like, I really wanted to experience that. And I just said that I was going to make sure that my kids enjoyed it. We were just going to have an all around good time. And so what happened is that we got down to Orlando. We went to Fort Lauderdale and for a couple of days because Jeremy is from Fort Lauderdale. And we said from Fort Lauderdale, we would meet my parents and my sister and everyone. And, um in Orlando and from Orlando we will of course have a Disney Christmas and so from there we got to Orlando and everything and so I noticed that JK and Jayla um you know they were acting different at this time and so I was just like you know maybe they were just tired we had did a lot of traveling um a lot had take place so I just was like you know um but never never in my wildest dreams did I think it was anything serious because if you know me, um, how I've moved during this pandemic, how I've moved during this pandemic, um, I haven't seen a lot of my friends in this pandemic. Um, a lot of my friends haven't even met Jayla. Um, just completely changed me. I went from having Jayla right before the pandemic developing postpartum to I just end up with this anxiety to even come out. So I know you all would see us post pictures and different things, but that was this further I could even go. Um, I really didn't go anywhere. If I did, I was in a mask. I was in a shield. Um, when, even when we came in December um, my kids was in mass they were in shield I would have send um, Jeremy to things he would do with his fraternity and ask him to wear gloves um, I would ask him to wear a shield and I know his fraternity brothers probably was like what in the world but he really wasn't doing it for him he was doing it from the anxiety that his wife was dealing with and the depression and um, the fears that she had developed even in the pandemic and after having a baby and so when we got here in December, I guess I had to think about it. Yeah. Um, when we got here in December, we decided. Where are you? <laughs> That's <laughs> um, when we got here in December, no, I'm thinking about my kids. Like thinking about when we left and everything. When we got here in December, um, I'm sorry, y'all. Is that is that like I'm still dealing with that? You know, Jeremy asked me recently. He was like, "I I don't think you're over that," and I didn't think I was still processing that, but I was. Um, but when we got here in December, um, I we end up taking our kids. I had texted my friend Vanity because she lives in Orlando, and I just asked her, you know, what was a good children's hospital here in? Was a good children's hospital here in? 
Orlando and so she texts me it and so when we got there um you know the doctor was like that you know pretty much was trying to rule them out as a virus like a stomach virus and then I was like no I know my kids like they they're not even in daycare there's no way they just have a stomach virus and I was like well I have you know a dad with a pre-existing condition and I don't play about him and so when it comes to stuff like that um I just make sure that I'm overly cautious like washing my hands before I come in the house wearing a mask still even if they lifted the mask um I don't just do that for I do it for my kids I do it for my dad I do it for you know both of our dads have those um conditions so it's just like I don't take that lightly um people have lost their lives during this pandemic so I I take it so serious that we still are let me repeat that. We still are living in a pandemic. I got a shit to them. Yeah, uh, we still are. Um, so, but, you know, long story short, I won't keep rambling because it's just that traumatic, even me talking about it. Um, we even dealt with a health issue later that we haven't shared. And I'm pretty sure maybe sometime at the end of this year, maybe even next year, we will share something that happened to us. Even from that, it was just like a ripple effect from that trip. But we got there and I said, well, I just need you to test them for COVID. And she was like, are you sure? Because they didn't have any symptoms. They didn't show any signs of having COVID. Um, they were just sleeping and I, they kept running a low grade temperature and just wanted to sleep. And so I was like, that's not like my kids. Um, right now, if we let them outside of that door, they would be running back and forth past us somewhere we missed the mark on the whole getting your kids to bed by a certain time so we're lucky if we get them in bed by 12 like please don't judge this is a yeah, no judgment we're, 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 hey, we're right here progress. we're not gonna judge y'all y'all don't judge us but i just it, w it was hard for me to process um um, I we had came back to the hotel because they couldn't find anything wrong with them and they was like well we'll go on and test them and just give y'all a call you know but they were really thinking even when we left like it's probably a stomach virus so when we got that call at 3 a.m. Um, I was in shock I was in complete shock because the day that we decided to take them to the ER we had these shirts on we had ears on. Jeremy had ears on. My kids, I still had got them dressed even though I was just like, something isn't right. Something isn't right about them. And so I still got them dressed. And so um, I just was like, you know, Jeremy, we gotta take them to the ER. So when we got that call at 3 a.m. that day and they said they had COVID, um, a lot of things went through my mind like, you know, even when I was just my sister, like telling her, like, no, this is emotional because this has been traumatic to us. Um, it's not that I thought I could keep them in a bubble or all oh, they that they could never get touched um, in this pandemic. But I thought I had did everything to keep that from them. I wouldn't put them in daycare right now. I wouldn't let them go to the park. I wouldn't let them have any play dates. I wouldn't let them meet anybody when Jayla was born. I, w I wouldn't go anywhere. I wouldn't, I didn't come around my friends um, this entire pandemic like that. Um, I remember it was up in the air if I was gonna go to one of my friends, um, close friends wedding and I still made that decision too. Cause I knew it was her big day, but I really was fighting um, the anxiety and depression during the pandemic and we still went but it was it was a struggle even then and I felt like I had did everything and it wasn't like I was questioning God like you know we couldn't be touched or this couldn't happen to us but I'm like where did I go wrong so the mom guilt began to set in and depression began to set in and I just was like I dealt with so much after that mentally um, because I felt like I had let my kids down. Like I didn't, I let them down. Like they didn't even make it to Disney World. It wasn't like, oh, you know, and somebody's like, were well, you were going to take them to Disney during the pandemic? I was because I was taking that trip. I was saying in that moment, I could no longer allow the pandemic to keep me in this box. 
I could no longer allow the pandemic. And I'm not saying we were just finna while out. We were gonna be washing our hands after we touched anything. We wore our mask. We wore our masks today. But I just was choosing like they can't live like this anymore. And that's why we were going in December. And so when that happened, I'm like, man, I let my wall down. I let my wall completely down because I just thought like, okay, maybe this, this, you know, maybe they needed to get out the house. Maybe. And so it's like now why I'm saying take that trip is because I look back and say like today was everything. Everything I know y'all see me post those pictures is not to look like that. We have it all together It's not to look like uh, we have we get everything we want But I truly believe I truly believe that no weapon formed against me No weapon formed against my kids Will ever prosper and today it was like God just vindicated everything that we went through in December because it was just like, I was so embarrassed because I'm like, man, I'm the one that like, even to my family, to my friends, I'm like, wear your mask, wear your mask. How I didn't be able to protect my kids. And it's like, my feelings was so hurt. Oh, I just cried and cried and cried. Um, even thinking about it. Um, but I'm so thankful for today. It's not really that they went to Disney, but I'm just thank God that he done carried us even in a pandemic. Even if you're getting on this live, like, that is something to thank him for. I don't know the exact number, but I know a lot of people lost their lives. I saw just videos of kids on respirators, and, and I just thank God they was asymptomatic. The doctors didn't even believe that's what it was. And I didn't, like, they could have, that could have affected my mom. That could have affected my dad. My family from Mississippi had traveled for that trip. We came around them. My cousin brought her two little kids, their babies, JK and Jayla age. Like, it could have went so, it could have been so much worse. And I just thank God just to see them getting on rides today. Just to see them, like, I'm just so full after today just because i really believe that eyes have not seen and ears haven't heard what god has prepared for us and it's not about you know us making sure we go here or there it's just making sure that we love on each other and just remember that god has so much in store for us and even if a storm comes he got us but i won't keep rambling i just I don't know. I don't know, Jay. Just no. thinking about it, like that was crazy. No, it was. It was. It was that definitely was uh, a lot. I mean, uh, I mean, I think you. Uh, you know, what I'm saying you hit on. I mean, pretty much everything. You know, as far as just uh, what actually happened. So when you look at the post that we made um, yesterday with our shirts, shout out to Brittany for making them. And it said, "Let's do this again, man." It it, it really had more meaning in and what i realize as i get older man everybody you know got stories um everybody uh are either went through some maybe going through some so even though you see things that we post or you see other people post things or even yourself right in the midst of pain and you posting stuff or you're sharing stuff like it be having deeper meanings or it may look like oh man everything going good but it's like Yo, even though it looked like a regular vacation trip, it really meant uh, a lot to us because even going back to when I got that phone call from the hospital, like, and the people was like, oh yeah, they tested positive. I'm like, ah, oh. like, I said, literally was like, like my mind, like, what? Like, I just kept saying, wow. I was like, wow, wow. And uh, I think just, you know, when you get, and we had got dressed to get ready. Like we were ready to go put our outfits on and everything to go to the, get ready to go to the park. And then all of a sudden, this big trip that we had planned um, came crashing down, but just not like crashing down on like a normal inconvenience, but it was like, it came crashing down, but crashing down with the thing we wanted to avoid the most. And I think like, yeah. you know, for me it's just, it just lets you know, man, at the end of the day, like, God's in control. Um, and I think, like, when we talk about take the trip, it's like, hey, all we could do is take precaution, do what we feel is mm -hmm. best, ask God for guidance, and then at the end of the day, trust that he'll protect us because 
we did everything we can and you know just trying oh, to like, that. i still have yet to introduce jayla who i had right before the pandemic to some of my close friends um just because i'm like mm, i don't even want to take that risk like it's still out there um so i still fight that i still fight that off of me so it's just like it's so crazy because i don't want anybody to get those pictures that we post like misconstrued we not trying to look like we're perfect but we just so thankful because we didn't think that was gonna be our story we didn't think like we didn't we didn't see one kid and then there's two so it's just like it's just crazy even that we finally got to do that day because jay i literally can picture us the night that we found out they had covid when we put their mask on just seeing yeah. them like sit on that bed I think, and I, I was think. just screaming crying yeah I think more so and I didn't know what was going on man. yeah see I think like that's something like even like what I realized like with me and Brittany where I think we balance each other um in a sense to where I'm like I okay it happened I didn't you know what I'm saying I was in the moment and then I'm like I you know what I'm saying? Let's look. I'm looking forward to this next trip. And then I know Brittany is a processor it took a long to time. where it's it took like a long time. she's processing like, okay, why it happened? What what could I have done different? Um, and I think, you know what I'm saying, everybody different. Men might be more processors than women or whatnot. But I know for us, um, Brittany's more of a processor in that and replays things and, and trying to figure out what, you know, what happened. And I think even like to that point, you know, watching our kids sit on the bed, mm -hmm. them not being aware of the fact that they were positive for COVID, you know, they don't know what COVID is and they just were sitting there by each other, you know, I that, even tell them that was, that was, I mean, uh, I that was painful, you know, that was painful, but you know what I'm saying? With all that being said, um, you know, with all that being said, let me see. All right. Yeah, with all that being said, man, we made it through. God brought us through that. I mean, it took, it was five months. Um, and, and like Brittany said, it's some, you know, some else traumatic that, that, that occurred as well during that time period. Um, you know, once we got back and we'll share at a later time, you get what I'm saying? But, um, God brought us through. God brought us through to today. You feel me? Today we did take that trip. We did um, go to Disney. Um, the kids enjoyed it. Uh, we enjoyed it. And you know what I'm saying? I'm interested in feeling like how you feel now. Like after we didn't went through everything we went through, we just shared with them everything we went through. Um, the emotions of it. Um, kind of like even in a sense, you know, sound like you still like, you know, processing it, you know, a little bit. Um, how you feel now, like after it's over, like as far as like we did it, like we and I said how I feel about it, I'll let you go first. Like, how do you feel now that we didn't went and dizzy? We we made up for that trip mm -hmm. that we felt like we lost in December and our kids got to experience it. How do you feel now? Um, I feel so much better, of course. Um I think Jeremy said it, you know, he explained even my personality um, to the T, like when something happens or something doesn't go, like maybe what I, the way I thought it should go, um, it takes me a long time to process it. Um, and I don't, it's definitely not a good thing. Um, in my head, I'll just keep processing the scenario over and over. I don't know if I do it just to like make it make sense. Or I do it as a way to say, eventually this isn't going to bother me anymore. Let me keep running through what happened. And so I think um, I still process just because um, of how I was during the pandemic. Well, we still in a pandemic, but just how I am in the pandemic, you know, just making sure that, oh, be, like soon as I get home, even now, if I go somewhere, by now, I wouldn't even have these clothes on anymore. I would have went straight to the shower. Don't let my kids, still don't let my kids touch me when I come from the store. To the point, even when Jayla sees me when I come in the door, she says, Mom, you got to take a bath. I can't touch you. Like, she says that because that's what has been programmed in them 
for the last two years that it's just like no like and i know people have really moved on from that kind of stuff like even to the point if we get groceries i'm like jeremy can you wipe that down like did you wipe that down when he come in from the house i'm like did you wash your hands like i'm still on that i'm still on that so to his fraternity brothers i want you to like let you know jeremy is not crazy why he's coming out in a shield sometimes in a mess if he just know a happy wife you know um but i feel like so much better i think it still hurts because let me tell you i would take anything over my kids um but i realized i cannot keep them in a bubble i cannot have them in a box and as much as i want to block their darts and everything i just gotta trust that no weapon formed against them it might form but it definitely will not prosper um so i am much better from that incident um still processing something that happened after that but i feel like i'm so much better today was everything um to watch the smiles on their face to watch them sleep walk uh, while we walked in the park it still it meant a lot to me um, it meant a lot to me. So it's just like, man, I just want to let y'all know that it's definitely a story behind them pictures, behind that cute luggage that I did get for a deal. <laughs> you know, let me make sure I add that. Shout out yeah, to yeah, Amazon. Yeah, that luggage I had to get from the Shout airport. Shout out to yeah. Amazon. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a story behind it. So it's like, this trip is everything to us. We've been through something just to get here. Mm -hmm. Um yeah like to have these shirts on today these the same shirts we got dressed for in december and yeah. had to take them off and say we're going to a children's er because something isn't right and i thank god for my mom instinct that when she was like oh it's just a stomach virus i'm like swab them i know my kids mm -hmm. i know when they don't feel good i know when something isn't right and so yeah, shout I out to still, the mother, the mother. I still uh, be like, you know, ah, uh, that night seeing them sit on the bed, like me putting their mask on, and me and Jeremy like falling asleep on the floor, crying ourselves to sleep because we're in shock. How? Where did we go? When? And we like put it all together. Just the whole trip, it was traumatic to us. It was so we deserve this trip. We've been through some things to get here. So I hope y'all enjoy our content that we put out about our trip because we are having a blast. But you know, just making sure on one side I you know, I am a curator, but just making sure that I'm living in the moment, um, instead of just curating the moments. No, I definitely I mean I think for me, um, I, I felt like it was, um, I felt like it was, uh, like we conquered something. And I, and I say that it's kind of like, you know, like in the athletic realm, um, I think like if you fell at something or just in life in general, like if you fell at something or something doesn't go the way that you wanted to go the first time, like doubt could creep in and you start to wonder like man is this gonna happen again um mm -hmm. what i have do I, do I got the ability to overcome it um and so with this it was like i heard you know you know me how i look at it the devil the enemy's voice in my mind like leading up to this trip like thinking that something's gonna come up like i just heard the voice yeah. like as we got closer i heard his voice loud and loud like no nah, it ain't gonna make it like something gonna happen something bad it, you know and so you like wondering like man is what gonna happen what happened last time gonna happen again mm -hmm. um you know praying against it you know just hear this little voice and uh it was a fight to just get to this point because when you get so close to something uh and then it falls through you like, dang, bro, what, what, what's going to happen the next time if we get close? And so to get here, and it took faith to get here because it was scary. I ain't even going to lie. It was scary to book the trip again, to try it all over again. Then to book um, it when they lifted the mask. Oh, yeah. Then to oh. be like, ah, oh, in the midst of knowing we coming, they like, oh, no mask on the, um, they ain't got to wear mask on the plane. So it just, it, it was a lot of, 
you know, fear was present. That's why y'all need to go buy my, my mother-in-law book. Mm. Goodbye, fear, you feel me? Hey, we didn't I'm drop that it. Link. Hey, I need to go buy that, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Hey. But um, but yeah, man, it, it was just like for I, I felt like it, it was a lesson that I learned from it. Is like just because you fell at something the first time or something don't go right, don't mean that it'll happen the next time. Just because you fell at something five times doesn't mean that it might not, doesn't mean that it won't go your way the sixth time. So that that's something that I do want to share with everybody is that. That, hey, like have the faith to try it again. Have the courage or muster up the courage to say, okay, it didn't go this way the first time I failed or disappointment happened or, you know what I'm saying? But it's not going to always be this way or it won't happen the next time, man. So I think that day I felt like, I'm like, I felt like a champion. Like I conquered something. I'm like, yeah, we did. You know what I'm saying? We conquered Disney. We did it. Um, and so with that being said, man, what, what was your favorite thing about the day though? Like just with the kids and all that. I know besides being with me, I already know that. But you know, that was the number one thing. But like, what what was your favorite thing today, though? Really, just being there. I didn't really care what we did. I didn't care if we just walked around. She lied, y'all. Her favorite part was the turkey leg. She ate I the turkey leg. I didn't even get a corn on the cob. I just no it. turkey leg. Yeah. Yeah. Was, no, that wasn't my favorite part. I, in all seriousness, just being there. Um. Just because I dealt with anxiety even up to getting here. Um, I remember last night, I was like, Jimmy, I hope I'm not coming down with something. Like, and it was just where I had to cast that down. And it's just like, you know, when negative thoughts come to your head. Yeah, really. um, and you just have to cast that down. And I literally had to, I took my little emergency. I did. But I casted it down because I knew what place that was coming from. Um, what anxiety and fear that was coming from and it was coming from the last trip um, I'm just like man I can't do that again I can't I can't um, but just allowing my kids to be kids today um, you know I still brought their mask but you know when they were eating doing stuff I did take it off and just really allowing them to not be in that box that I thought I could put them in during this pandemic because I realized, like, it's, I can do all the protection um, that I can as a mom, but it's still God who, you know, surrounds them daily. And I can't pretend to be God. I can't be God. Yes. And so um, just seeing them be kids um, when I've tried to protect them, what I thought um, in this pandemic, um, that was just everything to me just to watch. Gotcha. Even when they went to sleep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids when hey, that's one thing, man. You know, you spend all that money. You know what I mean? They took a and nap. Maybe taking a nap in the park. Like, hold on, we ain't got time to go to sleep. We need to soak up all of this Disney. All this money. All this money right now. You can go to sleep in the car for free. <laughs> you give me now. You can't go to sleep on on, I on want Disney. You, to see Mickey you know what I'm saying? Hey, all of them. You know, but nah. Um, I think my favorite part. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying. I can't say it's just one favorite part. Uh, I just, I think just seeing them, yeah. you know, seeing them, waking them up this morning and be like, guess where we going? Mm. We're going to Disney. Yeah. Let's, you know, it was, yeah. it was just like, like we did it, man. And um, we did it just from, you know, what we went through and having to wait five months after that disappointment. Uh, it, it, it just felt good seeing them. And, and I think the hard part too, like leading up to this, we would watch Disney movies. We'll see, they'll see Disney. When we going back to Disney, when, and it would hurt, it would sting every yeah, time did. because it was like, ah. Oh. And you know what I'm saying? I, I definitely shed, shed some tears when, when we had to leave here the first time. So to walk back through that um, airport this time uh, with jubilation or in jubilation and then to be able to go to the park, um, just seeing them, I think that, that definitely was my, uh, my favorite my favorite thing though um you know but uh but yeah man so uh anything you know what i'm saying you want to tell the people before we before we hop out any encouraging make last sure you take words? the trip yeah hey take that trip wherever it is take that trip be wise you know what i'm saying have practice precaution but and you know do what you think you need to do to give yourself the best chance to be safe but ultimately God is in control, you know, and so you don't want to try to control everything um, and drive yourself crazy, right? Trying to do everything perfect, 
you know, because you can't do everything perfect. You can take the precaution, but ultimately God is in control, man. Hey, make sure y'all go follow Wifey um, at Brittany K Moments. All right, go follow her. We got dope content coming up, up over these next couple of days while we in Orlando. Um, y'all go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeremy Kellum. Go to uh, follow and subscribe to the podcast, Taco Thursday with JK Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Anchor. So you can get the audio on the podcast platforms. You can get the visual and audio on YouTube. And um, you can get the live you know, podcast on like Thursdays, like you are today. And I think we didn't made it into Friday over here in um, Orlando. Like, yeah, I'm 12 o'clock. Bro, we I'm literally rolled by food first. places. Let's get off live first. And now she's saying she hungry. I'm like, yo, why don't we just go get something to eat now? You know, but you know how that is, fellas. So, I wasn't um, hungry when yeah. But you knew you was going to get hungry, though. That's the thing. You got to think down the road. Let's just get off live all right, so hey, appreciate y'all, man. Hey, y'all go do all of what I said. Follow, uh, support the podcast, support Brittany, support me. Um, hey, go get my mother in law book to Goodbye Fear. I promise you, you ain't gonna be disappointed. Um, you could go to my uh, well, Brittany website, I mean, Brittany um, page, and she already got the link on there. It's at, in my bio, it's in her bio. I actually got my mother in law coming up uh, in two weeks on the podcast. So, she said she was free. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, this a hey. <laughs> so I hit my mother-in-law up. Now she was in the other room. You feel me? Uh, no, I actually hit her up while I was at work. I text her. Hey, you could come on the podcast. Yeah, I check my schedule. I'm free. You feel me? So you know when you become authors out here, man, you gotta check the schedule now. But hey, she nah, funny. mother doing big things she though. Funny. Hey, y'all gotta go uh, get the book. But like I say, in two weeks though, she's gonna come on here. We're gonna talk about the book. Still go get the book. Maybe if you get the book now, you can read up on it, and then she can break it down when we get on the uh, episode. So hey, continue to wake up, striving to win on purpose, being intentional about winning. Root to the good, bros. I just seen the bros get on. Um and uh hey y'all have a blessed night man hey keep following the content I promise y'all we got some more dope you know videos reels all of that good stuff coming on so uh we're gonna holler at y'all